In this video, we're going to show you how to tag with the SportScope app. First thing you want to do is open up the app and go to games and start up a new game. When you start up a new game, we default with just ODK only on the right hand side underneath the, the record button. So if I hit record, the very first play is going to be a special teams play. It's going to be in green. And then I can hit stop. If I select that play, I can go to my tagging icon and I can turn on auto tag in the bottom left. And then if I select predict or kickoff, it's going to be a kickoff. And now I can say where the ball was returned to. I can also change possession up at the top by touching the football to see who's going to kick it to who. And I can do return yardage and penalties and anything else that happens during the play. So this ball was returned to the 25-yard line. And on the next play, if I hit record, we're doing our full auto tagging. So now it's first and 10. We're on offense. The play is orange. We know where we're at on the field. We're defaulting to a pass, so we would just select that clip now and we can you know see what happened so it's going to be a pat or changing it to a run um, we can go ahead and change we can spot the ball or we can do the gain or loss then you record the next play it's going to automatically know that it's second and seven since we gained three yards on the previous play you can also tag while it's still recording if you'd like this example is a pass that was incomplete. And so on the next play when we hit record, it's still it's going to be third and seven now because the last pass was incomplete. When that play is done, we can select it. It was a nine yard pass. So we gained enough for a first down on the next play, so we automatically do that. Record the next play, go and tag it. Here we're going to do a penalty. We're going to replay the down. So on the next play, it's going to automatically change the down and distance to first and 15, change where you are at on the field. Select the next play, tag it. So this play is going to be a pass that's an interception. So it's going to automatically change to defense now. Record that play. So select that play once it's done. And now you're tagging. So you always tag from the offensive perspective. So even though we're on defense, it's going to be a run. And this time it was a touchdown, so it automatically fills in the net yards. And you can go ahead and hit record. And it's going to automatically be an extra point. When that play's done, you can select that. Say if it was good or not. So that was good. It's going to give you the points. And when you start the next one, it's going to be a kickoff. And we are going to be receiving that, so we will be on offense on the next play. And you can go ahead and spot the ball and tell us the return yardage. So now when you hit record. So if that, that does happen, you basically can just select the play and go to predict, and it will automatically predict. And now we are on the 31 yard line. It's first and 10, we're on offense, and we're just gonna fill out this play. It's gonna be a seven yard pass. And now we're kind of putting in some of the players. So we grabbed our quarterback, we grabbed a receiver, a couple of tacklers. Usually you might want to just ta do the tacklers when you are on uh, defense. 
but this is just an example. And on the right hand side, we are doing some custom tags. So we have our category. So this is going to be the category that goes into huddle when you export. So it can be basically anything. So here we're doing blitz and then you add the tag, the name. So we're going to do inside. You can add another blitz tag by just doing the same category and then name the tag something different and you can tag those to the play. So once you have your once you have your tag here for zone blitz, you just select that and now that play is going to be when you export it will have zone blitz in there in the blitz column. So we record the play again. Stop that play, select it, and tag it. And you just continually do that throughout the whole game, and you will have tagged plays to upload into Huddle.